Welcome to our virtual Speech of Palooza event for the spring 2021 semester. We're glad to have you along for today. My name is Owen Devlin. I'm going to be the host for the event today. We have a great lineup of speeches to present for you today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hi, my name is Winifred, and I would like to call my story my sad childhood. Um, when I was born, I was born in a beautiful family. My mom and my dad, they were together. And that was something that I really liked because they both care of myself. And I was really happy because they were um, taking care of me. They were, um, I knew that, that they, was, they, were, they were having like the love with me and them. They, they showed that. Um, but that happened until I was five years old. When I was when I turned five years old, everything changed because my father separated from my mom, and that was something really difficult to me because I didn't want them to separate because that's something really bad for kids, and I passed really bad times. Um, because my father, when he separated from my mom, he also separated from me. And I love my father and everything, but he didn't care about me. Um, he didn't think about me. He didn't give me a call to say how I am or if I ate or no. And that was something that really hit me because I really loved my, my father and he didn't care about me. So when I, when I turned eight years old, I also had to separate from my mom because that's when she came to this country. And that's when I really, really, really was sad because I was separate from my father and also from my mom. And I had to stay with my grandmother, my mom's mom. So she helped me with all my process. But that my mom came came to this country and knew that she, she was coming to get a better life for my grandmother and me. I knew that that was gonna be to improve herself. But that didn't I didn't like that. I didn't feel like it would be like the right thing because kids thought, um they don't kids don't think about good things. They just want to stay with their fathers. And that was what I want when I was a kid. Um Another thing was that I, when I was like um, 16 years old, that's when I came to this country. Now I'm 20, I'm 20 years old. Um, when I came, when I was 16, I had to leave my, my grandma. I was like sad because I was, I, I was gonna leave her there in Dominican Republic because she was with me the whole time. She was my best friend. And she also, she is my best friend until this time. And, but in the other space in my life, like I was really happy because I'm gonna, I was gonna start living with my mom. And that was something that I part sad and part happy. So that was like kind of um, things that were happening in my life. So now I know that everything that passed in my life um, made me more strong and everything that I'm doing now it's to improve myself and to show to my mom that so that she can be proud of myself because that everything that she, that she did to me um, had a good result. So that was my story. I really love my father. I love my mom. I love my grandmother. I love them. Um, I don't know because I know that things that happened in my childhood were because to get something better. Maybe my father didn't think about me in that time, but now we have a better relationship. And when I think um, on those things, that make me feel um, sad, but I feel good now because I have a better relationship with him and I'm still living with my mom my grandmother can come back can come here or we're gonna go to dominican republic sometimes and we have a good relationship so that's my story thank you very much i hope you have enjoyed thank you hello my name is leah cruz and today i will be talking about the weekend and the success of after hours 
And here's my drawing of him. Took me a couple of weeks, but I got what I wanted. In this past year, it's no secret that the outside world has gone cold. Less in-person gatherings for special events such as birthdays, weddings, and baby showers. So many things had to be brought over Zoom or postponed. I myself had to find ways to readjust the new world set up around me, filled with masks and social distancing. All the while trying to smoothly end my time at Northern Essex as graduation lands around the corner. But to get back on topic, the general public and myself weren't the only ones that had to come up with plan B's and make the most out of, out of a unique situation. Celebrities, entertainers, and musicians had to switch up in order to somehow continue to bring in the money and let their creativity not be limited to the confines of their larger-than-life homes. There is one musician in particular that stands out when talking about this. The odd thing is he started crafting this world around the date of November 7th, 2018 with just a simple tweet. Some chapters are smaller than others, not this next one though. During the time where we as a world have never encountered something as a pandemic or thought it could even happen. Cut to January 12th of 2019, he simply sends out a message, no more daytime music. Being as secretive as Zong Rover, Childish can bear for all you music heads. Most thought he would release a part two of his EP, My Dear Melancholy, but as a full length album. There was radio silence leading into the fall, a notorious favorite time of the year for him. On the day of November 24th, a Mercedes Benz commercial played. Nothing out of the ordinary unless you heard it on mute. With sound, what is known today as record breaking hit title Blinding Lights played as the announcer gave details about the car being displayed. This was just a simple tip of the iceberg with a hint of the new world this man would allow his fans and myself to play in. As fast as the Maserati, we are cut to February 13, 2020 after a series of promotional photos of promoting driving mice and his other single, Heartless. The artist released a 48 second teaser of him driving a vehicle in this new world for his mysterious character. As the camera swirls all around the distorting new area, the title is revealed to be After Hours, his latest album, which just celebrated its one year anniversary. This album, ahead of its March 20th, 2020 release date, was dedicated to a fan by the name of Lance, who was a fan of the singer's Apple Music podcast, Memento Mori, who had unfortunately died prior to the release of the album. And unfortunately, there were no details on how he passed, so in the end, rest in peace to Lance. After its release, those who watched were brought into his new psychedelic type world filled with casinos, lavish like parties you would find in Vegas, and even some added hints of horror. The horror I'm referring to, of course, is what happens at the end of the After Hours short film, which leads into his third single, In Your Eyes and then the second to last single, Too Late. But the very last single, at least for now, being Save Your Tears, that actually gives him an entire new look. All of this, of course, you would have to see for yourself if you have not already. But to backtrack after mentioning his new look in the Save Your Tears music video, it is described as the typical beauty standard of today's Hollywood when it comes to the debate of natural beauty versus beauty crafted under surgical lights. He's not the only artist to subtitly speak on this matter, as there are dozens of campaigns that exist to champion the idea of natural beauty. But that's just it. In the end, the conversation continues to be ongoing. Now, obviously, I can't say that it'll be the end of the world of this world and it's starting to come to a slow close. When it comes to artistry, you're allowed to extend beyond the bounds of your imagination. You can't put your mind in a state where you feel as though you are very limited. You have to push beyond your own bounds. I have a feeling while leaning into the rescheduled after hours tour that's set for next year, between the Spotify AI and TikTok interactive experience, along with other ways of connecting with fans, I believe Abel, known widely as The Weeknd, will let visitors leave this loud, psychedelic world anytime soon. And this is my speech. And that is it. Thank you for listening. 
Okay, that concludes our first day, Friday, of the Speech of Palooza Spring 2021 semester event. Before I sign off, I want to make sure I thank everyone who came out to see this event today. I appreciate you taking the time to come out and watch this event play out. I also want to make sure I thank everyone who submitted speeches for today's event. I think they all came out awesome and I really enjoyed listening to them. Uh, before I sign off, I do want to make sure I make note that if you are interested in donating to the COVID-19 Relief Fund, there is a link below this video where you can learn more. As I've said, I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. Uh, but for now, have a great day and thank you again. リスハズビーンアンオマンドソンオリジナルスプロダクション。